I call the meeting to order. Will everybody please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States, States of America and, and to the republic, republic which which stands, stands one, one nation, nation under God, God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We're getting better at this. I was just yes. going to say that. We are getting better. I'm We're talking thing. when I do that. So <laughs> the New Jersey Open Public Meeting Law was enacted ensure the right of the public to have advance notice of and to attend the meeting of public bodies at which any business affecting their interests is discussed or acted upon. In accordance with the provisions of this act, the Cedar Grove Board of Education has caused notice of this meeting to be advertised by having the date, time, and place thereof posted on bulletin boards in the district, published and are transmitted to the Verona Cedar Grove Times and Star Ledger newspapers, tap into online news, file with the township clerk, and post it on the district's website. Roll call, please. Mrs. Dichara. Here. Mrs. Miga. Here. Mr. Splendoria. Present. Mr. Schoner. Present. Mrs. Dye. Here. The meeting is open to the public for comment on items on the agenda. I'll just give it a second and I'll make sure there's nothing in the chat box. Okay, seeing none, I close that portion of the meeting. Uh, good evening, everyone. It's, it's day 7,000 in quarantine. How's everybody doing? <laughs> Hello. We're doing, We're doing well. well. Hey, hanging in there. Fantastic. Yes. yes. Great. I'll tell you one thing, my lawn's never looked this good. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we got a month to go, right? A month from today is, is graduation, right? It is the 19th. And actually we have a little less than a month to go because at the last meeting, we cut off the last few days of the year. So we're getting there and there's a four day week this week and a four day week next week. And before you know it, it'll be summer. Yeah, I don't know what we're racing towards, but it'll be summer. <laughs> anyway, uh, committee reports. Did anybody uh, do anything, see anything, attend anything? I, I did. This is Nicole. Um, I went to two FSA meetings. So last week I went to the middle school FSA meeting um, where we just were touching base and going over some um, uh, final numbers. Treps, you know, brought in final number was $1,600. That much? Really? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I know. That was fabulous. That, that's, that's impressive. Wow. Yeah. That's great. So that was a big, big, that was a huge win. So yay. Um, they, we were talking about um, basically Mr. DeCourt was just throwing out ideas about what's going to happen for eighth grade graduation. I'm not going to talk about any of it other than what we know is, you know, all the eighth graders have gotten the email. Or, yeah, I think it was the email from marching. What is it? marchingorder.com virtual um, graduation. And I think they're all starting to um, give out directions for that. Um, what else were they? Oh, they held the virtual field day on May 8th. And you know, a lot of kids uh, took advantage of that, which was nice. It was two Fridays ago, I think it was. Um, and they are organizing a virtual career day. And I think it's, they're combining it with a few towns, which, which sounds really cool. And it's open to the entire school, not just the seventh graders this year, it's open to everyone. And it's Cedar Grove, Westfield and Union are combining forces. And it sounds like it's gonna be a lot of fun. Of, of course, I don't have the date <laughs> written down, <laughs> but it's coming up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm searching my notes and I'm like, I didn't write the date down. That's great. <laughs> yeah. It's all so good. I'm sure we'll, we'll be getting an email about that shortly, but um, it's all good stuff still going on um, at the middle school. Um, and just talk about, you know, what they're going to do for fifth grade orientation. Obviously they're going to be working on Zoom calls and, and doing kinds of video things for the fifth graders that um, that will be coming in. Um, and, you know, 
Mr. DeCourse talking about getting uh, other things set up for like National Junior Honor Society ceremony, getting that, you know, virtual and just recognizing the kids like we normally would who, um, you know, high honors breakfast, that kind of thing. So we're still trying to keep that kind of uh, recognition going. Um, that was that was the middle school. Then I went to the a virtual meeting for North End and, um, you know, the same kind of stuff. A lot of things are going on. Good things are talking again, virtual promotion. The fourth graders got the marching order.com. Um, teachers are explaining it to the kids soon. Um, the big news there was that that board has finished their two years and the new board was elected that night and their first day they go into effect on july 1st but the new let me see the new president is amy fairclaw uh the vp is jennifer porcino uh treasurer is jenna mafucci corresponding secretary is bonnie faia and um i'm gonna kill her last name Nicole starts with an A, Accentu is recording secretary. So um, Ms. Dyer was there and had a lot of nice things to say about the board that was coming off their, their tenure and was looking forward to working with the new board. That's great. Yeah. That's, so, well, that's really great. Wow, keep, good. wow, okay. Keeping on, keeping on. They're, they're moving on, we're moving on. This is, you know, looking forward to the future. Great. Anyone else have any updates? Or I think Nicole attended everything there was going on, right? <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. I, I, I just don't remember if um, I wanted to say. I think everyone uh, is aware. I forgot whether we discussed the, you know, the fantastic billboard that is. Um, mm. I don't think we did, we discussed that at the last meeting, correct? No, it wasn't. It wasn't public yet at the last yeah, meeting. It yes, it wasn't public yet. So uh, for the public what um, the Board of Ed has done, what the superintendent's done, what the uh, principal of the high school to celebrate our class of 2020 is there is a billboard that shows the uh, class of 2020, the high school class of 2020, and also another uh, one of the billboards that talks about Cedar Grove and Panther Pride. It's at the intersection of where PC Richard is, where Route 46 meets Route 80, meets Route 23, and uh, it's an electronic billboard. And every fourth, um, every fourth advertisement on the rotating electronic billboard uh, this month is Cedar Grove. And I have to tell you, uh, I was driving past it with my with my son, and uh, you know we were just talking, and we're not conscious of the billboard. And as we're driving past, all of a sudden, you know. Cedar Grove pops up on the billboard, and uh, we let out a uh, a pleasant, a lovely scream. And uh, so it's really great. And uh, so if you safely can drive up there and hang out and watch it, it's very impressive. And it's something that we're doing into addition. You know, it's in addition to everything else that we're doing for the graduating class. And uh, it was just, it was a lot of fun. So thank you. That's very nice. Cool. Yeah. Um, and uh, I thought I heard a rumor that uh, what, uh, there might be another district who was a little envious and might be trying to plan the same thing, but I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, yes, I'm they're, you know, that. they're very envious. Yes. So, all right, well, thank you for, uh, for bringing that up. You know, you kind of lose track of, you know, what's happened in between our meetings these days, so. All right. It's a, it, it, you know, it, it is, it is because we all know this, we're working from home and uh, doing stuff and there's virtual learning going on and virtual work and it's just sorting yourself through all the uh all the stuff agreed absolutely so so thank you all right so we're going to move on we don't have any board presentations this evening. um i'm going to move on um from the office of the business Administrator and board secretary under minutes um can i have a motion for b1 through b4 so moved Second. B1 is a motion to approve the public and executive minutes of May 7th. Uh, I'm going to think that 2020, Mr. DeVito, we're not in 21 yet. Please. <laughs> 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 
May 7th, 2020. B2 is a motion to approve the treasurer's report for the month of March, 2020. B3 is a motion to approve the board secretary report for the month of March, 2020. And B4 is a motion to approve the board secretary certification to the Cedar Grove Board of Education pursuant to the code that no line item account has encumbrances and expenditures which in total exceed the line item appropriation and violation of the code. Um, any discussion? No. 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 Please. Mrs. Dichara. Yes. Mrs. Miga. Yes. Mr. Splendoria. Aye. Mr. Schoner. Aye. Mrs. Dye. Yes. Under bills, can I have a motion for B5? I move. Second. B5 is a motion to pay the following list of bills that were emailed to us um, for the period 422 to 519 for the amount listed. Any discussion? No. Roll call, nope. please. Mrs. Sorry. Dichara. Yes. Mrs. Miga. Yes. Mr. Splendoria. Aye. Mr. Schoner. Aye. Mrs. Dye. Yes. Under business, can I have a motion for B6? So moved. Second. B6 is a motion to approve the submission of the full year 2021 IDEA grant and the amounts listed below. Any discussion? Nope. No. Roll call, no. Please. Mrs. Dichara. Yes. Mrs. Miga. Yes. Mr. Splendoria. Aye. Mr. Schoner. Aye. Mrs. Dye. Yes. Under um, from the office of the superintendent of schools under personnel, um, we're going to pull S one for this meeting. So can I have a motion for S two through so many pages? Um, S <laughs> S <S9>. nine. <laughs> So moved. Yes. Second. Okay. S2 is a motion to reemploy and set the salaries for the tenured professional staff members shown below for the 2020 school year. And there's a couple of pages of that. S3 is a motion to um, reemploy the set salaries for the non tenured professional staff members shown below for the 2021 school year. S4 is a motion to reemploy and set the salaries for the tenured secretary and staff members shown below for the 2021 school year. S5 is a motion to reemploy and set the salaries for the non tenured secretarial staff members shown below for the 2021 school year. S6 is a motion to reemploy and set the salaries for the custodial staff um, shown below for the 2021 school year. S7 is a motion to approve the following co head coaches for the 2021 fall cheerleading as follows. S8 is a motion to approve the following leaves of absence. And S9 is a motion to approve the following students for classroom observation. Any discussion? No. 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 Uh, I just wanna say as far as the, the co-head cheer coaches, uh, welcome to uh, Nicolette McCarthy, a former or a, a Cedar Grove alum. So we're excited to have her and I believe yes. Jacqueline Lasky um, has been here before and she's coming back and we are very appreciative of that. So welcome ladies. Yes. Okay, um, roll call please. Mrs. Dichara. Yes. Mrs. Miga. Yes. Mr. Splendoria. Aye. Mr. Schoner. Aye. Mrs. Dye. Yes. Under curriculum, can I have a motion for S10? So moved. Second. S10 is a motion to approve the following contracts for special education students as recommended by the Director of Special Services for the 2021 school year. Any discussion? No. no. Roll call, please. Mrs. Dichara. Yes. Mrs. Miga. Yes. Mr. Splendoria. Aye. Mr. Schoner. Aye. Mrs. Dye. Yes. The meeting is open to the public for comments on items on or off the agenda. So as I said earlier, in case you came a little late to the meeting, um, everyone is muted. If you'd like to make a comment, just uh, write in the chat box and I will go ahead and I will unmute you. And I will just give it a couple of minutes or not really a few seconds <laughs> and see if anybody has any comments. And I'm going to assume that's a no. So I close that portion of the meeting. Uh, announcement of future meetings. Uh, June 16th is our next meeting. It's virtual, 6.30 exec, 7.30 regular. 
um, July 21st, we can all hope as of right now, it's virtual 630 uh, regular is, or I'm sorry, 630 for executive, 730 for regular. So anything, anybody else wants to say or comment or anything like that? No. Have a good night. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know, you know, there's a few weeks to go before the school year is over and it hasn't been easy. And uh, just a special thank you to uh, to everyone, really, because, you know, we're kind of in unknown territory. And I think everybody's really just tried to make the most of it. And uh, I know I speak on behalf of the board when I say, you know, thank you to, to everybody who's gone above and beyond to uh, to make this work. We appreciate your efforts. I, th I think that's thank you for saying that, because I think that's a really, uh, really great point that they really have. Absolutely. So can yeah, I, I Go I ahead. That. Uh, I go for a little walk every night uh, after dinner and, you know, I run into some of the neighbors and stuff. And by and large, everybody's most, just about everybody I talked to is happy with how everything's working with the, the virtual learning and all. So, mm -hmm. again, kudos to, to our staff. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Can I have a, a motion to adjourn? I move. Second. All right, roll call, please. Mrs. Dichara. Yes. Mrs. Miga. Yes. Mr. Spondoria. Aye. Mr. Schoner. Aye. Mrs. Dye. Yes. All right, the meeting is over. Everybody have a uh, have a great night.